Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in learning science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding department top three salaries using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Google, Amazon, Yahoo, Adobe and Shopee interviews. Okay, and if you're new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The, the link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. Also, do not worry if you do not have LeetCode Premium subscription. I am going to share this Panda schema in the description box as well. You can just copy it in Jupyter Notebook and try it on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, so we are given one table employee with four different columns, ID, name, salary and department ID. ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Department ID is the foreign key that is reference column of the ID from the department table. So these two tables can be merged on department ID of department ID column of employee table and the second table department ID column, right? Because essentially they are same. Each row of this table indicates the ID name and salary of an employee. It also contains the ID of the department. Okay. And we have second table called department, two different columns, ID name. ID is the primary key that is column with unique values for this table. Each row of this table indicates the ID of a department and its name. Okay. A company's executives are interested in seeing who earns the most money in each of the company's department. A high earner in a department is an employee who has salary in the top three unique salaries for that department. Write a solution to find the employees who are high earners in each of the departments. Order of the result does not matter. So basically, if we look at these, right? So there are two departments, IT and sales. IT is ID1 and sales is ID2. So ID1, you have one, two, three, four, five, right? So five different people. What is the highest salary in IT? So the highest you have is max, right? 90,000. Then the second highest for... Uh, IT is Randy 85,000 and Joe 85,000. The third highest for them is um, 70,000, right? So Will. So these four rows are going to be for IT, right? Because the question says the top highest three salaries, right? And then if we we'll go by another department sales, so since there are only two entries, both of these will be in the output. So if we look at it, right? So for IT, we have Max, Joe, Randy, Will, and then sales for sales, you have both of them, right? So that is what we need to do. So obviously, since the information is, you know, in two different tables, so the first thing that we should do is we should merge them, right? So let's store them in a data frame called DF and perform a merge. So PD dot merge, right? Uh, and then the first is so the left table can be employee, right? Because in this employee table, we are just adding the name of the department because that is what we need in the output as well, right? So employee data frame and then the right one is department data frame. Since the names of the columns are different, we need to write left on and right on. So left on. So which column we are using uh, in this employee table? Department ID, right? So department ID. And let me just drag it to the left, right? So, so that it's easier for us. Okay, department ID and then right on. Right, so write on which tape, which column we are using in department table ID, right? How? So we are just adding new information. So basically columns in the employee table, which what is the name of the department, right? So we just can do the left part, right? So we need to keep all the rows from the employee and just add the new information. Also, again, as mentioned in the last video as well, suffixes are not required, but like it makes your code look cleaner, the output look cleaner as well, right? So, and if you look at the names, right? So there are two columns with same names in both the tables, even though they mean differently, right? So it would be difficult to understand, okay, what column is coming from which table. So it's better to just write suffixes so that it's easier for us to know. Okay, so if it is coming from the employee table, uh, you know, uh, append employee at the end of the name right and if it is coming from department so append underscore dep okay let me go ahead and return this data frame let's see what do we have here right okay 
so it does not complete yet but let's see what do we have okay so now you have all the employee table information along with the id of the department and the name of the department okay cool now what do we need to do is we need to find that for every department right so for every department what is the ranking of the salary that they own right so basically for uh, let's say it right so it this uh, salary should be assigned rank one then eighty five thousand should be assigned rank two then the next one should be assigned rank three rank four and so on so obviously here if there is a tie we do not need to skip the ranking number so if so for example in this right so if we do a dense method of ranking so it will assign for it max this salary 90000 will be assigned rank 1 then 85000 here also rank 2 here also rank 2 and then 70000 will be assigned rank 3 so it is not going to skip one right so we can do that so let's start and make a column out after this which is basically a rank column right so df rank column and then how we are going to calculate the rank so you take the data frame and then you group by right so you group by the department because for every department you need to have the rank of the maximum salary second highest third highest and so on right so you can use department id you can use the name of the department it does not matter i am going with forward with department id right and then once you group by the department id then take the salary column right take the salary column and then rank so rank and then what is the method that we are going to use dense because we do not want to skip once there is a common or a tie salary right so method is equal to dense and we need to uh, rank the highest first right so we need to write ascending is equal to false okay now let me go ahead and run this uh, let's see what do we have here right now okay so if you look at it so for it right so obviously this one is highest so rank one then eighty five thousand two and two and then third highest is this one and fourth highest is this one right for sales we have highest one is this so rank one and second highest is this one so now once we have this then all that is needed to be done is just perform a boolean indexing making sure that wherever your rank is less than equal to three you just return the uh, whatever is required in our output so department employee and salary so let's perform the boolean indexing so df of rank is equal to or sorry is less than or equal to three right is less than or equal to three let me go ahead and run this let's see if we are getting the uh, three highest okay so now we have it but we don't not need all these columns we need certain columns and that should be named in a different way as well so firstly let's keep the columns that we want in the order that they want so firstly it should be department right so name of the department so this column right name of the department then it should be name of the employee right so name of the employee and then finally we need to have the salary column right so salary column let me go ahead and run this again so now we have the output which is same as expected output the only difference being in the name of the columns so we can just directly go ahead and use dot rename what we are trying to rename columns right and then we can provide okay so the old value name of the department should be changed to department right and then the name of the employee right so name of the employee should be changed to employee okay and salary let's you know just capitalize the first one as well so salary should be changed to salary with a capital s okay i think this looks good because the order of the result does not matter right so let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here so now this is accepted right our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it with passes all the test cases or not so this is accepted and this is how we do it so yes it is somewhat difficulty level question but all we had to do in this is firstly we try to get the department name information right so we get the department name information append it here then what we did was we ranked so for every department what is the first second third fourth and so on highest salaries and then we performed a boolean indexing to say that okay let's we are only concerned about the top three highest and then 
once we perform that boolean indexing we kept certain columns right and the method of ranking we used was dense because we had to keep the top three highest so even if there are ties among salaries in a particular department we need we do not need to skip the rank right so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video